Namaskaram. I'm Lera Chiu, ICANN Head of Communications for Asia Pacific. I'm here in Hyderabad, India for ICANN 57. Earlier, I had an opportunity to talk to Dr. Steve Crocker, ICANN Board Chair, and Yoram Mavi, ICANN President and CEO. Let's take a look. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Steve, let's start with you. You said the world would be closely watching ICANN 57 because it was the first meeting after the transition. In that context, what would be the takeaway from this meeting? Um, first of all, it was an extremely well-attended meeting. So that meant the interest level was high, and we were quite pleased to see that. Um, in this first meeting after the transition uh, means that everybody, the board and everybody in the community, is eager to see where we turn our attention, where the focus is, uh, and um, where we are going to be expending our energy. And uh, so this is the uh, sort of recovery and uh, um, gathering up steam to move ahead. Joran, you've been talking about the three parts of ICANN, the ICANN board, the ICANN community, and ICANN organization. Why is it important to make that dis clear distinction? Now when the US government supervision has been replaced by a real community supervision and with the new checks and balances, it is important to clear out the roles so we all know what we're supposed to do. But the community is the heart of ICANN. That's where the policy making is actually happening. The board takes those, look at them, takes advice and instructs me to go and implement them. And that is a very good, that's a very good way of looking at the roles. Steve, there was an unusually large number of new board members coming into the ICANN during this meeting. Is the board losing the in institutional memory at a time when it needs it most? That's a good question. Well, we, we lost and replaced five members of the board. Um, that's higher than normal, but only by one or, or two. Uh, and it's perfectly expected that there will be fluctuation. It's not a... It's not a, a the same number every year. So it's within, I mean, it's not extraordinary, it's just uh, a little larger than usual. Uh, we have lost uh, some people who have been on the board quite a long time, and uh, uh, those losses are uh, felt. And, um, but uh, the people who are coming in, I must say, are quite good. I've been quite impressed. Uh, all five of the new people are uh, very strong, experienced, and eager, conscientious, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. And uh, uh, they'll come up to speed, already are. In fact, we have a, an introduction program that precedes their formal term, which has just started. And uh, this year, they've all hit the ground running. Joran, you've now been to a couple of ICANN meetings since you assumed leadership reigns at ICANN organization. What are some of your observations about these meetings and the way they are conducted? An observation I do, which I knew before coming in, but it's very hard before you actually experience it, is the level of passion of the people coming to the meetings. It is an extraordinary sight to see all those volunteers coming into a meeting and work very long and very hard days. And this meeting that has been very long, um, it, it's amazing. Um, and I, come, I think everybody feels a little bit tired after a meeting like this, but I also feel a great sense of gratitude for everybody who are involved. Steve, one of the issues addressed at ICANN 57 is that of accountability and transparency. Since the transition, which specific areas has ICANN's accountability and transparency improved? One of the primary elements underlying the entire thrust of uh, accountability and transparency has been um, to, for the community to feel confident that uh, the board and the organization is being responsive and uh, providing accurate, timely information. Um, just speaking with respect to what goes on inside the board, uh, we have, uh, we're quite eager to be as helpful as we can. Uh, we've been making a point of looking for all of the opportunities, large and small, to be more forthcoming and, um, and to take the message uh, to heart and uh, not just stand on formality and say we don't have to do this because if you read the rules this way, is to go entirely the other way and say how can we be as open and as uh, helpful as possible. 
Um, there was, in the early days of the accountability process, a, uh, a lot of people talking as if the board was purposely being resistant. I can tell you that it was never the case and that we stood silently for a while to let this play out. But we're as uh, delighted as anybody. We're part of the community. We come from the community where you know, there's no real difference in motivation. Um, so we're eager for this. And as I say, uh, we've been looking for every sort of opportunity. It's now part of our thinking at every step. Uh, how do we make this more open? How do we uh, uh, make it more sensible and accessible to the community? May I continue on the same yes, please. question because it is very important and in the dialogue between me and the board we're starting to work on those things because we also come to the conclusion transparency is much more than the disclosure. Uh, you have to be able to find the material, you have to be able to, to know the material exists and that's why we for instance now have changed, started as the format of the quarterly stakeholder calls which we're now doing regional uh, to be able to hit that note. Other things we are doing, which may be small things, but you have to put them into a smaller context, is the uh, uh, when we're now going to add a complaint officer uh, to the ICANN organization, where we will take in complaints, but we'll also publish the complaints and the answers to it. So we make sure that people understand if we've done something wrong, if we've done something right, uh, there is a central point for doing that. After this meeting now, we're going to release what is a public version of the report I'm sending to the board, which I do before every board meeting. Um, the reason why it's public is we have to take some personnel things away from it. But apart from that, I will share with the rest of the community what I share with the board. Um, so there are many things we are going to do uh, that together we build up in a, and hopefully increase transparency. Steve. How do you find uh, this meeting here in Hyderabad? And maybe you could tell us a little bit about ICANN 58? The uh, facilities and the hospitality and uh, all the organization here has been absolutely amazing. Um, we just have felt uh, very well treated and um, things have run very smoothly. Um, and we're looking forward to Copenhagen very much. Um, speaking personally, I've been to Copenhagen once in 1969 and I have been looking for an opportunity to go back. Uh, I've always thought Copenhagen was a, uh, an amazing place and uh, I can hardly wait. Right, thank you gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you.